So if you guys haven't noticed yet, new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailers have just hit the web, and oh my god are they amazing. But with trailers as big as this, there are obviously going to be a lot of easter eggs that you actually might have missed. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys all the easter eggs that I found from the new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailers. Oh, and you're probably wondering what this tree is. Well, if you look closely, it's actually Professor Oak's balls. Pokeballs, that is. Keep in mind, I am human. Or am I? <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I am human, but if I do miss some, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. With all that being said, let's get started. First off, there are two different trailers that Game Freak released to the public, one being the Japanese trailer and of course the one that everyone else got. In the English trailer, we start with the main protagonist in his room, which has a Pikachu plushie on top of what looks to be a cupboard. And if you look down to the bottom left, you can see a Wii U gamepad, which is an obvious shout out to the consoles, but they do that in every other game, so... We'll just ignore that. Next up, we have the main character meeting someone named Kukui who welcomes you to the Alola region, which is obviously the official name of the region. He also refers to you as cousin, which typically in Hawaiian culture extends beyond blood relatives. This extended family can also be called Hanai and is the reason why many Hawaiians will call each other auntie, uncle, or cousin. Wow. By the way, thank you Exelion for that fact. Link to his video will be in the description below. Also, if you look here, the main character seems to to be a lot bigger than previous generations. My guess is because the character could be older, maybe around 15 to 16 years old. We also get to see the professor of the region who is sporting a beautiful Hawaiian robe by the way. Definitely looks a lot more laid back than the other professors. And since all the other professors are named after trees, I'm thinking Professor Palm would be a good name for him. Cause you know, palm trees. We also get to see Kukui again in the back, leading us to believe that he's probably an aide but maybe even the professor's son, who knows. And of course, after this, we get introduced to the new starter Pokemon of the region. We have Rowlet, the grass flying type, which looks very similar to an owl. It also appears to be using a new grass attack, which is called Leafage. Next up, we have the fire starter Litten, which looks like a cat. And that's about it. And finally, we have the water starter Poplio, which definitely shows some resemblance to a seal. And also clowns. Ugh. Hey clowns. In this screenshot here, we have what looks to be a map view of parts of the region. Over here looks to be a Pokemon Center. This right here could be the Pokemon Hotel that was shown here in the previous screenshots in that Pokemon Direct we got a while back. And here looks to be the beginning town where the player lives, while here looks to be the beginnings of a big city. And of course we have this thing right here, the Big Crater, which could be a reference to the Oahu Crater, but I don't know. Also, Hawaii confirmed, Hawaii confirmed, and Hawaii confirmed. We see a woman looking out into the sky. Presumably this is the mother character, but we'll get to her in a bit. And by in a bit, I mean right now. Take a look at this screenshot. The mother character seems to be the owner of a Meowth. What's great about this is that it basically confirms that the new region has Pokemon from other generations in it and isn't Gen 7 exclusive, which is great. We also get a more closer up view of the city, which looks to be a Goldenrod Lumios kind of city to the region. And if you look carefully, there appears to be a gym design at the far end of the city. We also get a more in-depth look at the beginning town and some kind of hill thing. I don't know, maybe it's this thing here. We get a first look at the new rival character, and it seems to be the only rival we get. Which is kind of sad, because I really like the addition of multiple rivals in Pokemon X and Y. Finally, we get a look at the new legendaries, the first being this Lion Sun Pokemon thing. That looks amazing, and this Moon Bat thing, which also looks pretty cool. Also, if you look behind the Pokemon, you can see the Sun and Moon logos, but are actually switched between each Legendary. When you get a close-up of the Lion Legendary, you can see that before it attacks, it shows the Sun logo on its forehead. This also appears on the Moon Legendary as well. But you think we're done there? Oh no we're not, we still have an entire other trailer to break down. I'm not gonna go really in depth on this trailer because I did an entire theory on this one, so if you want to check that out, click here. In the beginning of this trailer, we see a new kid overlooking Oahu, which is a clear sign that the main island in this game will be Oahu. He later exits the plane and we get more shots of Oahu. We also see that the kid is learning English and just moved in from Japan. Also here it says Machoke Expo, which could be a reference to the Machoke in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Throughout the rest of the trailer, we see the kid trying to fit into the new environment. 
trying to find his place in this region per se. Also, fun little thing I'd like to point out is that this kid is drinking Moo Moo milk. Then later on while he's walking, he finds a local game store which actually shows the Sun and Moon legendaries performing their signature moves. We also get a look at what looks to be a replacement for the Holocaster system. Also, character customization is back. Then finally, we have a scene where the kid decides to grow a pair and make new friends, thanks to their shared love of Pokemon. The end. Also, So that's all the easter eggs that I found. If there's some that I missed, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and share this video with a friend. If you want to check out any of my previous uploads, click the annotations here. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.